Welcome back, everybody. How are you guys today? I'm Miss Shine Light Seven. Welcome. This is a 21 plus reading, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in your comment section below. This is a general plus a collective. It won't resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, please check out some of the other videos in the playlist along with before you go. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next upload. So hey, hey, hey guys. How are you guys today? I had your messages. Guys, I'm still trying to work on these numbers, okay? I know more than 20 of you guys are watching my channel. And also, I'm having a problem because YouTube is not recommending my videos to other, you know, people when they recommend other people's videos to me. Like, I, I don't understand what's going on, you guys. I'm trying to sort the situation out, okay? We was going from a thousand all the way up and now we ain't getting no views. Like it's like, you know, I'm like, I'm almost like, but guess what y'all? I'll be here. Right? I'll be here. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here. Be here, guys. Somebody to backslid. Somebody is an instant, um, instant. Somebody looking for instant gratification here with this energy. Yeah. Let's see, y'all. I'ma see. I'ma see. I'ma see. I'ma see. And then we're gonna throw something on here to see what's up. This is the oracle of the energy today. So let's see. We have a death and a funeral. A death and a funeral could be a, somebody that, um, but it also could be the death of an, um, a death to one in situation and a rebirth to something new. But it's also saying it might be a widowed husband here, a widowed man. Um, and a person could have passed along in their sleep here. They could have passed along. A masculine could have did, or a man or a woman, sorry. Man or woman. This also could be a person that has like, narcolepsy or some type of sleep disorder insomnia no like a sleep apnea the person that snores all right you also could be having vivid dreams as well um sawing wood rockets driving a fast car glass breaking dogs barking thunderstorms somebody that backslid and the energy back here let's um let it this is a backslide okay this is the snowmobile because it might be real snowy where you at i also got the yin and the yang here and the energy okay so it's trying to balance the scale of the yin and the yang you can call on us it's some port is here this is uh somebody might be eating too much fast food but this is also instant gratification as well. This is the state of affairs of this relationship. Okay, instant gratification. Somebody here is only in this situation for instant gratification. This is the estate of the excuse me of the relationship. We got the entanglement. We also got the copycat. We also got the narcissist. We also have cunning and gullible. Okay. Cutting and gullible. Somebody in this energy. <laughs> coming in. It's heavy, boy. Y'all coming in heavy over the weekend? What's happened over the weekend? Don't worry, son. I have a secret second wife. So somebody's a widow, but they also got a secret second wife. There's a meeting in the ladies' room. A meeting. Writing. Your name might be John. Your name might be Adam. Or your mask, 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 mask. The masculine in the energy might be named those names. This is a blessing. Somebody's blessing. Somebody's psychic abilities, your intuition, your all knowing here. So, high priestess energy. Then we got passion. 
What about this death? That's a new beginning. Something new gonna start here. New beginning. Under the early release. Also, the spirit guides are here to help you out and your energy. Okay, tuning in. Tune into your to your intuition here. Your third eye ch chakra might be, you know, opening. Okay. You might be having visions, like I said, with the vivid dreams here. You also might be getting signs and synchronicities of numbers. You might be getting song downloads as well. Let's see what the new beginning is all about. The funeral, the death of something, the new beginning of something else. Let's see. That was three, but I just want one of the new beginning. That said the burdens. That was burdens. That was heartbreak, too. Burdens and heartbreak. <laughs> That's under the new beginning. That's a heartbreak under the new beginning. I don't know, y'all. Let's see what they doing. They say injustice. A lot of stuff hitting the table. I'm going to take and If it want to come back out, it will. Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords, Black Slide, Star Options, Seven of Wands under the um, Attack of Abilities, Bad as you want to be, and the King of Cups, Emotional, Emotional over Gratification. The bomb. You botched the project here. Four of Wands. Okay? There ain't no union here. There ain't no passion because it's entanglements here. I'm glad I pulled that before because that gave me a clear picture right away. What y'all got going here? What do you call a guy who doesn't want to have his, you know, privates sucked? <laughs> the answer is dead. <laughs> okay? So somebody might have died here, y'all. Okay? You might have did it while they was. I would hate to say why they, you know what I mean? You didn't know they passed over. Or they could have had, this person could have passed on while they had sex or while they was engaging in um, some type of intercourse here. Okay. At least they die happy, y'all. At least they die happy. And they say, your paths, um, you're on a path to your best self here. With some new beginnings here. You're on a path to your new self, to a new clarified Eight of Swords under the Three of Swords. Eight of Swords under the New Beginning. So you still going to be blinded to the truth and still heartbroken? What we'll die here? Something that was sneaky. So that sneaky second wife is here. A sneaky second husband. Alright, that's the Empress. So sneaky another woman. Mm -mm. Star backsliding. Nine of Pentacles. Abundance. Six of Cups. Nostalgic. Queen of Cups. Emotional. Over this blessing. And over this uh, being your best self. Bad as you want to be under your best self. The sun is going to illuminate what's the instant gratification. Under this energy. The Hermit. That's also the Queen of Swords as well. Let me see what they're talking about here. Spiritual AF. Let's see. When you are wrong, admit when you are right. Be quiet. Okay, under the three of swords. Well, you might be wrong. Okay, and you might have got something wrong. Or somebody might have got you wrong. Okay, because somebody might got be messed up. Okay. You might got you messed up with the with the truth here. Flying to the truth. Empress. Um, the death of a masculine. Somebody might have been passed over. Um, engaging in intercourse and passed on. Heart attack or stroke. I don't know. I told you them pills. Stop taking that stuff over the counter. 
You know what I mean? Like uh, the agar or something, a uh, go hard or something like that. Try a more natural alternative. Think twice before you give a F. Emperor, Emperor, somebody don't care about. <laughs> they already got another lover. Oh, that's crazy. That's cold. Loving is its own reward under the backslide. Nine of Pentacles of, of stability, of success, of something here, of loving is a reward. So somebody getting something out of somebody else that was sneaky here under the star. Somebody else had another option. Queen of Cups. You are the product of what you believe. Under the queen of emotions, you are the product of your blessings, okay? If your blessings is, you know, being your best self and you bad as you want to be on this path, then, you know, you won't have to believe that and be in walking confidence with it. Hit the flow. And it says, exhaust that BS. Ex ex exhaust. No. No, wait, not exhaust. I can't even see from here, y'all. Sorry. Exhale. Exhale. I, <sighs> exhale the BS under the sun under the king of cups so y'all got some commonality here y'all do got some commonality you and this queen of cups and this king of cups y'all do got some kind of commonality here in this relationship under when you are wrong admit it and when you right keep be quiet what we know here we know that Self-care isn't selfish. Okay? You got to put some self-care, self-love. Love yourself first. Put you first. I put me first. I got to put me first. <laughs> I got to put me first. <laughs> okay? We got to put ourselves first sometimes, you know? Your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Okay. Under being gullible, being an entanglement, F what they say. Okay. F what they say. Okay. It's what they say don't matter. It's what you believe about yourself. Okay. Grab your own butt and love yourself. I told you self-care, self-love. Uh, you know what I mean? Do you. You got to do something for you here. That's what they want you to know. You got to do something for you. The present moment is effing amazing. Mm -hmm. The present moment is effing amazing. All right. What we need to see here on our psychic ability. We need to see that the fortunes will here, that this will is spinning up or down, it's a change coming in this energy, luck, and the right timing. So, you got some luck coming in in the right timing, and that's powerful right there. This is the color pillar of opportunity. Okay, think before you give a F on this color pillar because somebody is an opportunist um, because of the cunning and the gullible and the manipulator here as well with the entanglement here. Remember how uh, Will was like, you know, Unbeknownst to him, because somebody might be a drifter, you know, drift from one place to the next, experiencing life as it comes. Here, loving is um its own reward under the backslide. Somebody backslid or lied or went back to something that don't no longer serve them. And, you know, they're looking for a different outcome when the outcome is always going to be the same. Okay. Five. So five. Okay. So we got four, 14, and... um. 23, which is 5 for me. 16, the empty well. This is a time to replenish under you are a product of what you believe. That's an empty well because when it came in under the wheel's fortune, and this is what's will in here. This is empty. Okay, something here might be empty. The love might be empty. The love the relationship might be empty. It's not no nothing here to, you know, you know. Yeah. 
This is a resurrection here, though. This is the magic magician sword, confidence in your magic. But I told you, in order for you to be whatever somebody got to say about you or whatever you believe, because you are the product of what you believe. So here is the confidence that you have to walk in here under this energy. Here, this goes here under um, your wounds are. Um, your wounds are probably not your um, fault, but... Your healing is your responsibility. Now, I always tell you, before we can get, uh, you know, transformation or whatever the case may be, where we can grow and level up, we must heal in order for we us to get there. You know, we have to heal first and experience the life as it comes. When you know, when you experience things as they come. And believing in what pro you you are the product of what you believe. So if you believe in whatever you know cunning or gullible or um copycat or mastermind things that these people tell you future is totally fabulous somebody at a loss here so might be at a loss for words now i've at least a half a chance like so they gambled this, they, this person place, I think, took a gamble. They took a, a gamble on the love that they had for you um, and with somebody else, okay? Because whatever happened here is probably not your fault. But you are responsible for your healing here is what they're telling me. This is going to be a purification for somebody here in this energy as well under the self-care because self-care isn't selfish. It's, you know, we working on ourselves, but sometimes you got to, I have to, you know, put you, you got to put yourself first sometimes. Okay, now somebody try to put yourself first. Sometimes I got, and this is disowning self. So somewhere along the line, um, when you are wrong, you got to admit when you're wrong. Um, and when you're right, keep quiet. Because, you know, when you're right, you don't have to prove that you're right. Okay, you don't have to. And it says, exhale, that, exhale the BS under the state of the affair. So somebody might have disowned the situation, um, disowned you, your family members due to a, you know, a religious or due to color or creed. Um, somebody might have disowned the person here in this energy here because of a lover, because this person was um, experiencing life as it came. Uh, maybe the person don't have a job. Maybe this person don't work. Or this person in the Bible said, if you don't, if a man don't work, he don't eat. Okay, so if this person you with, first place the thing ain't working and you supporting everything, they want you to know that, you know, you might have to disown this thing. Okay, call a thing a thing and disown it. Okay, okay, willow wisp. And this is treasures hidden in the shadows. So you think there's going to be something hidden in the shadows here under the luck and the in the um right timing. But sometimes they want you to listen like or know or... Have a knowing, okay, because we're here with the knowledge, we're here with the wisdom, we're here with the vision, with the third eye chakra. Uh, we are here with the 62, which is, you know, eight. It's infinite. It could go on. You think, like, these cycles are some treasures. Like, and I always talk to you guys about these, these treasures that are hidden in the shadows, okay? Treasures hidden in the shadows, but are they really sh treasures? Cause in the and they said that our treasures are hidden in the hidden in heaven. Okay, now I don't really know now, but you saying they hidden in the, with the devil? Cause that's who keeps shadow work. Don't that, you know? That's the shadow side of us. That's the darker side of us. So that's the sh dark, you know, the dark side versus the light side, and with the willow of wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Now, in some cases, you might find your shadow. You might find some treasures there. You know, like you drop twenty dollars and you wasn't expecting it down in the subway. You know what I mean? You wasn't expecting to, you know, find twenty dollars or find a hundred dollars. You know, that's that would be to me treasures hidden in the in the shadows. Okay, to me. Okay. Or it's eviction day, but the sheriff marshal comes and says, you don't got to leave. That's a treasure hidden in the shadows. Okay? Like that type of thing. The repo man got your car on the day going lift, but he put the car back down. Okay? That kind of thing. 
That's a hit. That's a to me a treasure hidden in the shadows. Cause you're gonna try to make a wrong or right, right? And then we got the galactic mushroom, the the matrix, the divine matrix. So you is in the you know in the cipher here, and this is the fool's embrace, talking about transmuting pain into and transmuting pain from pain to to power, right? All right, so let's see, y'all. Let's see what else they got going. Caterpillar of opportunity. So we got intuition of all known, because we had the um um psychic abilities here so we got the intuition now then we got the transformation and before we can transform we gotta heal we gotta heal okay the sacral chakra as well talking about the um sacral energy okay sacral energy in it here under the matrix and then we got wisdom and i told you the wisdom the wisdom is here along with knowledge and knowing and vision okay now they're like on this only because see somebody disowned this person because of a situation because of creed because of religion because of you know race or etc hit the floor and that's your new beginning that hit the floor okay so we know that the new beginning is coming and it's coming in quick fast in a hurry okay your new beginning is coming because you have to heal so whatever it takes for you to get through this we know you want to get through this in a timely fashion so that you can reap the re reap the proceeds of your labors okay all right grab your own button and love yourself love yourself first here in this energy today is the last day of the month of february Okay, and I would like to give a contribute to all, you know, all the lives, all the li all Black Lives Matter, all of the philanthropists, the inventors, the artists, the legendaries, the who the the, the ones that paved the way for us um, before we got here, you know, our matriarchs, our gurus, our scholars. Um, you know the Moors that help teach the Europeans, the you know you know the ones that you know are for our highest good. Those those folks that keep our history alive. Okay, our Martin Luther Kings, our Maya, my Maya Angelou's, and our you know Harriet Tubman's and George Carver's and all of those all of the people that help. Pave a way for us. Carter G. Woodson. Now, my last, my grandmother's last name was Woodson. So, I don't really know if the Woodson, um, and it was from the same, you know, sh South Carolina, North Carolina, wherever, them Carolinas, the Carvers was from, the, the, the uh, Woodsons were from, because I think my grandmother was from Ashland, Virginia, and I think uh, Carter G. Woodson was from, you know, the Carolinas or somewhere in Virginia. Or it could have been, um, I think it was called like Manassas, Virginia or Ashland, Virginia. I'm not real sure, but, you know, y'all could check it out. And if you do know, you can put it in the comments section. But I don't know, we could be related, you know what I mean? Like my grandmother, that's would be my grandmother, mm -hmm. Angie Woodson Towns. Okay, that would be her. Let's see. Well, her name was Angelina. So, that was my roots. So, I'm thinking I'm in the roots of some of them Woodsons, Woodsons that were out there that are part of our legacies and histories and stuff, okay? So, yeah, guys. So, let's keep pushing. I just wanted to give my, you know, Black History, you know, commemoration to those people that paved the way for us, you know, now and going forward, okay? All right, you guys, and then we got March coming in like a lion. So we got, you know, it, it's coming in pretty mild where I am. A um, little bit cold because it's cold where I am. We also have the full moon coming in on the second of the month. Okay, on the second. And let's see any upcoming dates. 
We got Mardi Gras tomorrow, but I think they're already celebrating Mardi Gras already, you guys. And then what was next? And then you got Ash Wednesday. You can't forget Ash Wednesday. So Ash Wednesday is um, on Wednesday, you know, where they put the ash on your forehead and they say the prayer for you. Um, and that might be, you know, for the kind of Catholic folks, you know. Like I told you, it might be, like I told you, we might be talking about a little bit of race. We might be talking about a little bit of creed. And we might be also talking about, because of um, somebody might be having some type of situation with, with that deals with that. And I talked to you guys about that before. And I told you, I was given this candle, guys, of, uh, this is, I don't know if this smells like jasmine. They said it does. It says it's supposed to smell like jasmine. I don't really know. But on Ash Wednesday, I will be burning this for, you know, Ash Wednesday. That was given to me. So, yeah. That's what I'll be using. Mm -hmm. For Ash Wednesday. And was there anything else that I had for you guys coming up for the first week of March? I'm going to try to change the scene. And then, you know, on Daylight Savings comes on the 13th of this month. So, Daylight Savings, where the time goes forward again by one hour on the 13th, which is a Sunday. So, you know, we will re when we get closer to that date, we definitely will talk about that then. Um, and then we have St. Patrick's Day, you know. Um, the luck of the Irish. And they consider that, like, abundance, luck, and... Um, prosperity for that um for that day back in the day it was a day of drinking of beers the i call it i guess they call it the bar winch would bring huge bug bar, bar uh glasses of beers because you know top of the morning to you you know it was an irish thing also we're going to talk briefly because of um guidelines i really can't you know speak about you know the war and and where we are but i also want to keep you guys informed to stay up on current events at this present time just so that if you're traveling um they're, they're planning with nuclear systems and things of that nature so we want to just make sure that you know you guys are safe i mean even though it's not part of us but we are part of it and when we as a part up you know get involved with something else it could you know send backlash to us so just be careful um uh, in these times you know that we are in right now you know keep your family safe just like i said keep up on your current events okay because things are in this world right now transforming into like unknown things like we're experiencing just like any energy is calling it we are drifters right now because we are experiencing um life as it comes right now and love is its own reward so like you know however we can share and spread love and comfort one another is where we need to be in this energy right now with the intuition you know like opportunities for other people to gain where another place would lo lose or lose out with the lost here under this energy of this um give it to me so like somebody wants to take energy here with this energy here and it's lost here so definitely you know we really are under that energy of you know protection right now we need that per we needed that bind protection of you know universal and i send out that type of energy for everyone listening that is under you know you know listening to tarot we want to raise the vibration that's the whole purpose of tarot is to you know enlighten and elevate the vibrations of the universe around us okay not just for self but for all humanitarian energy around you know even from the low to the high we got money for wars but we can't feed the poor type of stuff and tupac wrote that in his story and his songs you know you know that many years ago what was that 93 okay but what, what they want to do is trap us in fear we've been trapped in fear for two years with a full, you know, you know, pandemonium. And now, you know, choosing wisely and being aware 
of your surroundings and your circumstances is what we need to do so that we can take a huge giant step with movement and choices and decisions forward okay so we can go forward in things recognition and so somebody wants recognition and you know that other person on the other side of this war you know they want recognition and reward to take over um the country that they want to battle you know like i gotta keep it you know what i mean like because you know i told you i stay in the neutral with things i'm unbiased when it comes to different things but when we in times like this it's very difficult um to you know speak about it because they definitely will not let you have your channel if you're talking about things like this you know even though everybody's it's the whole talk but mm -mm, they don't want you talking about it okay because they want to keep us trapped in what they want to keep us trapped in fear. They want us to be able to choose or they choose for us and not be aware of what to do, what to, where we should go and just uncertain of uncertain times and just keep us all on an anxious uh, anxiety level, right? With everything that's going on, okay? That's just like that narcissist energy, like gullible, will believe anything type of energy or that's what they're telling you. And it's just to remind you to let you know that they want you to believe anything they tell you, okay? Like... This is your sacral chakra, you know, Lang Lang energy. Okay, they want you to be able to, you know, elevate yourself, elevate. Okay, with this lightning energy, change is coming in a striking way. It's going to be somebody might even have striking looks, but power because you transmuted your pain into power and that's what these other folks need to do they're going to transform you know because between the ages of what 19 and 60 they can't leave and they have to stay and fight okay so it's going to have to have a lot of manpower you know to fight whatever fight this good fight that they have to fight this battle okay i don't know if we can get involved but i'm pretty sure we shouldn't get involved you know but at the same time, when us get involved, it's something in it for them. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, if you caught that, then you caught that. Okay? So. All right. So, let's see. I'll awaken the soul here. We got action, taking quick, swift action, moving forward. And this is them shooting back. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Plan, plot, strategize, and we bomb first type of under this power. You know what I mean? We might have to strike first, but I hope not. You know what I mean? They said they was going to support them, though. So we might give them some of our, you know what I mean, things that we got. And this is the treasures that they talked about that was stored in our shadows here. This is the treasures, okay? Because that's what we after, somebody else's treasures, right? That's what the whole war is about, a, a, a treasure of someone else's. And in secret, oh, excuse me, the treasure is hidden in the shadows. So it's a, it's a reason for this to happen, okay? Because they're after something, right? Okay, under the, the luck is at the right time. So we take over them now destroy everything that's there okay and then in the right time it will be, be, be building and it'll be ours okay shadows back out again okay under wisdom no you gotta know all knowing here and unplug unplug sometimes you might have to turn that stuff off too you know what i mean and just hope for the best 33 33 might resonate with you sometimes you just gotta turn that stuff off and just say you know It'll be what it be, you know? It will be, all will be well here in the energy, okay? Because we're going to take a fool's embrace, okay? And transmute our pain into our power, okay? So choosing wisely is here. And I hope this resonates with you. It's more of a, you know, current event type of energy here. It wasn't more like love came in the beginning, but then a current event came in the end. So just to let you know that there's a miser out here. Somebody that wants my, my, my power and control here as well. And know that under your intuition. The drifter of experience and things as they come. This is the projection. They want you to be they projecting their 
mind, their thoughts, their feelings, their ways on to something else or someone else. And it might be happening in your love affair or it also might be happening in the current events as we have today. 3434 might resonate with you. Transform. Thunderbolt. Okay, so it's going like the thunder, lightning, and then the thunderbolt. Like I told you, it's going to come in in a striking way. So somebody might hit with a strike of, you know, some type of disaster, okay? A forceful strike. Maybe even go to blows, fighting, bombing, grenades, that type of stuff. That's what they want me to say. And then the lovers, okay? Can't we just get along? Can't we just be love, love each other unconditionally, without conditions, without ultimatums, without constraints, okay? They want you to have patience and energy as well. I accept that everything happens in divine order. That's your protection. Envy. Somebody's jealous of another person here in this energy as well. They're jealous. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay, They want something from somebody else, but they got different challenges that they need to be working on in their own settings. But instead of them working on their own problems in their own settings, they going somewhere else and fighting after somebody else's stuff. And that's how people do in relationships. Instead of them working on their own home and working on their own things at, that they have to, to to build and grow and to prosper and things they busy you know interfering in somebody else's love lives okay under guilt okay i release any belief that no longer assists my soul's growth right instead of you know working on your soul's growth you somewhere else guilt tripping somebody else to feel sorry for you and why you can't succeed okay now I do accept the things that you cannot change here. You got to accept them. I am learning that. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. You can't change what's going on right now. We got to see it through. We got to see it through, my guy. <laughs> we got to see it through. Right. You know, sometimes we got to just let it be what it be. And this is, we want peace. Okay. We want peace. We want harmony. We want peace. We want everybody to end in a peace. We want this to have a peaceful resolution in relationships with countries, with each other. You know, we are the world and we want to have strong relationships and things like that. So at the end of the day, we got to accept these things. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay. With peace. Okay. We're going to release the negative energy. And if we could raise the vibration, and there will be no war, okay? If we could get peace in it, okay? If we, instead of madness and corrupt and, you know, things that don't serve us, that's what they're talking about here in the spirit world today. Okay? They see what's in the world today. And they're calling it out. You know, we shouldn't have wars now at this time, late, this time in life now. We shouldn't, there shouldn't be wars. It should be peace and harmony and bringing peace out of confusion, okay? Under the chaos, under the, the lightning, and then the thunderbolt came, okay? Under projection, how people project things to you and tell you and things, okay? Under keeping you trapped and fear, okay? All right, you guys. That has been my message for today. If you are liking these types of messages, may you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next upload. Also, turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss when I go live. Along with, if you would like to get your own personal reading with me, michellelight7tv at gmail.com. Namaste and now must go. Peace, guys.